Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about two uh, project Libre uh, features. Uh, the first one is type of the resources, and the second one is incorporating a cost. Uh, in the first step, uh, I define some elemental task here, and also we have the Gantt chart here in the right side uh, that show us the duration of each task and also the uh, duration of our uh, whole project. So this is the structure of our project to uh, continue. Uh, so for the resource in the tools bar, I uh, click on the resource and click on the resource spreadsheet. As you can see, uh, we define some uh, worker here and also material. For the worker, we choose a uh, um, type of the work and also for the material, we choose the material type. For the RPS, that is resource breakdown structure, we can uh, categorize our uh, resources to the group and also we can fill here in by email address and also for the group here we can define group here for example for the Alberto and John as we can check in the Gantt chart here both of them uh, work as a designer in the design part so uh, here in the resources spreadsheet we can uh, right design for them and also the, the maximum unit uh, uh, if they work as a eight hours per day that is a full time we put 100 person that they are available during the work time or they can maybe work uh, part time as a 50 uh, person or maybe we have the 70 percent 80 percent as we define for our project and uh, if we uh, come back to the Gantt chart we can uh, assign our uh, resources here we have two options for the assign first of all we can double click on the each task or maybe we can click here in the assign resources so as I defined before uh, for, for the resource uh, if I double click in the permit for example task uh, this task and you know, uh, click on the resources uh, we can see the Alberto that I had before, uh, assigned before so maybe I could you know add another person or maybe change the Alberto with the another person for example I want to add the uh, uh, John to this task and also you know remove the Alberto and uh, this is the easy we can change that. also maybe in the drawing also we can do you know mm, remove the uh, John and also you know, add the, assign the Alberto for, for the another person for example maybe Sumit and like that uh, the another one the resource section for example uh, in this task uh, in the glass partitioning we have the 10 days duration so I want to assign two person here I want to see that what happened if I assign two person for example we can add the Marlin here and as you can see the duration of the task is decreased to five days so if our task is uh, independent to the number of the personnel so we can you know, uh, double click here and click on the advance and uncheck the effort driver and you know, check the fixed duration and also in the general we change the five days to the ten days so as you can see the task uh, come back to the 10 days duration uh, second feature is the cost and for the uh, cost uh, I uh, come back to the resource spreadsheet and as you can see uh, we have the standard uh, rate so I uh, you know uh, for each person I uh, mentioned that I you know uh, put a uh, twenty dollars per hour or maybe I can change for example thirty dollars uh, per hour or maybe and also for the material I estimated that for example for the glass uh, we require five thousand dollars to you know provide and buy glass material and also for the electrical equipment and then other we can you know put our estimated here and we have the another parameter that is overtime rate for the overtime if our personnel work more than you know uh, as we define here for example all of them are full time so if they work more than eight hours so we should pay uh, overtime rate so for example we uh, pay uh, 45 dollars for the 
first one and maybe for the second one maybe we you know uh, we'll pay thirty dollars uh, per hour so uh, for but for this project you know we do not you know uh, uh, have the overtime rate and another option is the cost per year per use and uh, for example uh, for some personnel for example uh, for uh, Sumit, you know, uh, he works uh, as a uh, you know in the department that should purchase uh, material, and uh, maybe he required to check the material material before ordering. Uh, you know, in terms of the quality, you know, in terms of the you know workshop and etc. So for this person, maybe I should you know uh, consider two hundred dollars for the transportation you know during the project. So also, I want to uh, explain about uh, two uh, effective columns in our, you know, <coughs> uh, excuse me, in the left hand uh, side. So if I, you know, uh, click, uh, right click here, I uh, and in click on the insert column, uh, I can find, you no know, uh, cost here. Yes, exactly is here, and uh, no click. Uh, okay so this is the cost that show us the overall cost for each task and uh, you can see for example for the permit we require $1,120 and for the drawing $1,920 and also for the another task is the overall uh, cost that we consider and expected for this uh, project the another color means I want to insert is the actual cost that show us the uh, cost that cost for the completed task and also for the partially completed task as you can see uh, we do not right now have the partially completed or completed task so uh, for this uh, I can you know uh, first of all uh, click on the file on the toolbox and click on the information and define the statute date today is for example 29 November so as you can see this is the green line here that uh, show today uh, uh, statute a statute date of the our, uh, project and if I double click on the each task for example the permits so we have the percent complete okay so uh, I can define that up to now it uh, this task uh, uh, is done for example 60% of this task is completed okay and also for the drawing maybe 40% uh, of the uh, drawing task is completed up to now so as you can see we have the uh, black uh, line uh, over the blue uh, bar of the GAN chart that show us the partially completed the task so uh, here in the actual cost uh, we have it changed and uh, we have the cost here uh, it means that for example 80% of the overall cost uh, is calculated by the you know, project Libre here as an actual cost uh, and also 40% uh, of the this cost is done uh, is calculated here about, and this project paid for that so uh, if in the file uh, uh, if I click on the file and also in the project uh, you can see the summarize of our the cost here also we have the name of our project that is the for example construction company at the university and uh, we have the start date and the finish date and also uh, a statute date and the cost is a uh, total cost for the project is one uh, eleven thousand uh, and two hundred forty dollars and the work uh, hours for all of the project is the five hundred twenty and the actual cost up to now uh, that we spend is the 1440 and the actual work up to now is near the 60 hours thank you very much for your attention